Welcome to this tutorial. For the next few minutes, you are going to see how to start the live streaming in Livebox with the help of the OBS Studio. For the people who don't know about OBS, it is a free encoder software that goes well with the streaming devices. And Livebox is such a streaming server that supports external softwares like OBS for encoding videos for the successful live streaming process. So this video is all about how to go live on social media destinations and streaming platforms through the Livebox streaming server with the support of an external encoder that is OBS. So to begin live streaming in Livebox, it is must to have a streaming channel. With every Livebox server, there will be a default channel for the streaming purpose. But you also have the option to create a number of channels by yourself according to the plan you have purchased. So now let me begin this tutorial by creating a channel so that you'll have a clear understanding of the streaming workflow that happens on Livebox. Now here on the navigation menu, we have a create a channel option. And here all you have to do is to fill these details and click create. So now I'm giving my channel name as test and a stream name then a password for my channel. You should note that these three info actually contributes to generate unique RTMP links and embed code for the channel you are creating. And then if you want a thumbnail on your player, you can turn on this option. And also you can set a logo for your channel if you turn on this option. And then by clicking this button, you can select an image from your PC files and then position your logo and set your origin to upload a logo for your player so after filling all these details you can click on this create and let me now go to manage channels and here I'm going to click on this drop down menu to select my test channel and then clicking on the streaming URL button here you can see a number of URLs including HLS play URL and dash play URL so that you can use these URLs according to your usage as for now, to stream using OBS or any other encoder, you will need a streaming URL. And from the same streaming URL, you can also generate a stream key. And no worries if you're not sure about deriving your stream key from your streaming URL. You can just look above where the stream URL and stream key are given specifically. So that you can just copy the stream URL and stream key and enter on your encoder stream settings to start your live streaming. And if you click on this embed code, you have the both normal embed code and secure embed code so that you can broadcast on your websites or blogs based on whether your site is secure or not secure. If your site is secure, you can use this secure embed code and if your site is not secure, you can just use this normal embed code. So now it's time to stream a source to my test channel using OBS. Here I already have a source ready for the streaming process. But the usual way to add a source on OBS is to click on this add menu and then select media source. Here you can also rename your media source and then click on this ok. So now you can browse and select a source from your files. So after selecting your source you can click ok and your media will be added on OBS. So after adding a source to OBS, you can go to settings and in settings go to stream settings where in the URL bar you have to enter the stream URL and in the stream key bar you have to enter the stream key. So now let me go back to my livebox interface and here after selecting my channel I'm clicking on the streaming URL and here I'm first copying the stream URL and entering in the URL bar of my OBS settings. And secondly the stream key in the stream key bar and in the stream type option you can leave it as custom streaming server so after entering the URL and stream key of your livebox server channel you can click on this ok and then click on the start streaming button this sign indicates that the source from OBS is successfully encoded on the livebox server channel so let us go back to livebox and check on the server channel. So here on my livebox dashboard, near my channel test, it shows the status live. 
and on the player the live streaming is running successfully now the real deal begins where from this server channel you can push live streams to social media destinations and streaming platforms and you can do that in different ways in live box and the most prominent one is through push destinations option and here in push destinations you have to select the streaming channel to which you have live streamed the content and then by using any of these two options select whichever the destination you want so after selecting your destination you have to give the rtmp url of that destination to establish the live streaming content from your livebox server channel to the destination you prefer you can also refer to the knowledge base site for the documentation and tutorial support for specific destinations like youtube facebook and periscope so through this push destinations option you can add multiple destinations and live stream on all destinations at a time and you can also embed your channel player on your websites or blogs using this embed code option here well the tutorial ends here and hope you'd find this tutorial useful and for more information on livebox keep checking on livebox.co.in